हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम विजय सोलंकी एंड यू वाचिंग समथिंग ऑफ एवरीथिंग इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन दैट हाउ टू मॉडल द ट्रांसफर स्टेप वी हैव नॉट सीन दैट वीडियो जस्ट क्लिक ऑन द लिंक बीइंग शोन अबो इन वॉच आउट हाउ टू मॉडल द ट्रांसफर स्टेप इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी हाउ टू क्रिएट अ कंप्लीट इंडस्ट्रियल स्ट्रेट इन स्टेप प्रो हाउ टू गिव सपोर्ट टू द कॉलम्स how to give releases to the members and how to create load cases and combinations for analysis of the industrial shape okay let us first assume that the length of the truss is 42 meter with seven number of base of 6 meter long the uh, width of the truss as you can see 20 meter the slope of the truss is such that the height of it reach is 2.126 meter Height of the truss is 12 meter from the ground level. Okay, so let us first create the columns. We'll just select the node cursor, select the end nodes where the columns will be coming. Go to geometry, connect beam along y. Sorry, not connect beam along. Translation repeat in y direction. Just write down the height of the column. That is 12 meter. Why minus 12 meter? Because we want to go down from the press bottom. Just link the steps and press OK. As you can see, the columns are created. The next step is to create the supports. Just go to general tab in support tab. Just create the tab in supports. Let us say we are create having a soft soil. So let's give the pin support. to the truss okay and the next step is to give the releases to the truss go to specifications in this tab specification window just click on beam press truss and edit press beam again in release start release m y m z edit press beam and release m y m z and edit okay now let's start and time remember that is every member that is in between the truss top code and bottom code needs to be given as member truss select all the beams start and time members and give assign to selected beams and assign the member truss property to the start and time members if you want to see which members are given the member truss property just click on the highlighted button and it will show okay if you want to see the specifications your two levels and just on the specifications if you can see this press beam step apply it and it will show that the members are being given press property okay now the next step is to give the start and end releases to the truss so that truss does not take the moment just press shift k to see the nodes and press shift e to see where the start and end of the truss are as you can see there are start at this node this point and there are ends at this point so we need to give start releases to this beams and end releases to this beams okay just press shift e again so that you can see that the releases has been given now the next step is to replicate this truss to replicate it the selected all press as selecting just press shift a to hide the specifications being given the next step is to create the translation repeat of seven number of base of six meter length okay so to do this select the whole structure go to translation repeat you can go to translation repeat from the geometry translation repeat also in z direction we want seven base 
of 6 meter long length just press ok and here as you can see the whole rest geometry has been created the next step is to create the pearl lens in order to create the pearl lens just go to the front view select the node cursor select the pearl lens points that is the top code points where you need to give the pearl lens as you can see the top code has been nodal points has been selected let's go to geometry connect beams along z axis as you can see the pearl lens has been created the end time member can be created by the same way and as you can see the whole industrial shape has been modeled the next step is to create the load cases and combinations for which we need to in which we need to assign the loading so just go to load case details press add let us first add the dead load just give it a type of dead edit next is live load sorry we need to delete this load case as always give the seismic load first if you want to give it into the industrial structure as the in industrial structure mostly the earthquake forces does not govern wind forces govern so many a times people just analyze the structure for wind load cases only but it would be better to model give the earthquake properties and earthquake and load cases and combinations so as to prove yourself Let's give EQX as seismic again seismic and EQZ. Okay, the next is dead load. Yes, yes. The next is live load. The live load on the truss will be the roof live load only. So that is not matter actually. Let us give live load. Press add. Now we need to give wind loads. Let's do wind load x. The next will be wind load x in minus direction. The next one would be wind load x. Sorry, wind load z. Next would be wind load z in minus direction. These are the cases that you have created to apply the loadings on the truss. We have to give the suspect definitions. Let us say the truss is the industrial side is in Ahmedabad. Then what will be the seismic parameters for it? We select the IS 1892-2002. The zone factor of Ahmedabad is 160. This was reduction factor for an industrial shed. That will be you can find the response reduction factor from IS code. You can find the response reduction factor from 189. Let us open the one at 90. In table 7, it is given response reduction factor for different structures. Okay. So let us say ours is a steel frame with concentric press. So the response reduction factor will be 4. So give 4 here. Importance factor. Let us say the importance factor for our building is 1. Rock and soil type. If the soil type is medium or soft, for medium soils, the, this SS factor will be 2, for soft soil, it will be 3. Let us say RC is a soft soil. Type of structure. It's an RCC structure, you have to give it 2. You can find it out in the help menu. Let us see in the help menu what it says about ST. As you can see, this factor is two for steel frame buildings. Okay, so we are giving two in that case. Then the next step is damping ratio. For steel buildings, the damping ratio is 0 0.02. Let us next step calculate the time period itself. Okay, just add this definition, add the self weight, and we have given the definition. Now the next step is to create the load combinations. 
let's press add go to auto load combinations for indian port and steel plastic let's add it as you can see there are many rules being created for steel plastic cases but we don't need it let's close it go to load cases add again auto load combinations for indian and let us say it's a general structure we will create the load combinations for new set design if you want to do the design of this industrial shed in IS 1 IS 800 2007 just go then you have to give this load cases if you want to give you, if you want to design this structure as per IS 800 1984 or say working stress method by working stress method we have to give service load cases let us design the structure for working stress method and give the auto load combinations for service cases we have to create the rules for this service cases as you can find the video of how to create tools for auto load combinations just click on the link being shown above or just see in edit rules we have to select the Indian code we have to create a new category and we have to create the cases we have to add rows for when load cases in order to get the same let us say the first one is dead load plus high load then dead plus live plus wind dead plus live plus minus wind and dead plus wind dead plus minus wind ok dead minus wind for wind it will be dead plus live plus wind only as we have created 4 rules for different wind cases we only need to give this once if you have given for one case only and you want it then you will have to give as you can see there will be four cases of this and four cases of this ok just close this edit tools go to load case details press add in auto load combinations indian code service condition and generate the load case as you can see only nine cases has been created that means the wind load cases has not been created so far we have to go back to the loadings and edit our load rules we have to see what happened to the service condition as you can see we have added the case but it then come actually we need to write in here Right. this will be one and this note will not be one same way this will be one and not the other one as you can see now it will create the load cases for it happens ok so select the indian codes select service cases and create the load combination as you can see there are 8 cases for seismic 8 cases for wind load and 1 case for dead plus life just add these combinations and one by one you can just rename it as you can see this is dead plus live just click on it create dead plus live copy it you will need it in the future in the second case it's dead plus live plus win eqx so plus eqx what i have done is i have pasted this and added this i will need this also just copy it Click on the other one, C342 that is EQZ. Mm, I am mistaken. I will have to copy this again. Just select this, paste it from EQX, just change it to the EQZ. This way you can rename all the load combinations. Once the case load combinations are renamed, just add the load envelope so that you can use it in the future just select stress select the load combinations that you have created edit and the load combinations has been created 
In the next video, we will show you how to apply dead load, live load, and min load on the truss. Keep watching something of everything. Thank you for watching this video and please subscribe our channel.